Good morning to all. Welcome back to social science class. Today, we have to start a new chapter. And this is the last and final chapter for political science. Outcomes of democracy. Outcomes of democracy. Outcomes of politics. Yeah. Outcomes of democracy, right. Here, yeah. outcomes of democracy, the last and final chapter for us. The politics. Outcomes of democracy, Mr. Fisan. Okay. Can you hear me? Hello. We will discuss geography. Okay. So listen carefully. Related with the project, I told the section C to choose. What is that? Sustainable development. Okay. I got uh, two, three uh, draft copies there. Okay, this is good. Okay, those writings are fine. And section B students, I told you to choose social issues. Any social issues you can choose. Okay, but so far only five to six students uh, sent their topics to me. Are this so far no information related to the topic? Okay. So you're facing difficulty to find out the topic. I can give you some topic, you can write it. You can write about uh, poverty and unemployment. Section B students. Poverty, unemployment. Okay, poverty and unemployment, unemployment, unemployment. Okay, you can choose that. Okay, and you start writing uh, the projects related to the topic, uh, poverty and uh, unemployment. So those are social issues there. Sir. Okay, public health, uh, well, that also you can add. Public health also you can add for public That's a good topic too. Okay, clear, let it be. Are that uh, different, different kinds of topic you can write now about that? Yeah, topic. okay, you can add a number of topics also, no problem. Okay, clear, information are available. You can write about uh, two, three uh, different topics also, no problem in that. Okay, clear. Uh, okay, so uh, section B students, as soon as possible, complete the task and inform me. Okay, clear. Section C students also, please complete it. Uh, but conclusion, what you want to write? This uh, week itself. Okay. Conclusion that is related with the topic, right or not? Okay. So what is the present status? That should be there in the conclusion. What are the steps that are taken by the government or different organizations? or the role of people and what happened or what is the present status of that particular issue that you can add in the conclusion, clear or not? Okay, or if you have any suggestions, you can add that too. Okay, your ideas also you can add in the conclusion, no problem in that. Anyway, in this week itself, you have to finish the task and inform me, okay? Send that to me, wait. Okay, now come back to the topic. We are discussing, going to discuss the last chapter that is uh, outcomes of democracy. Okay, so we so far we studied about uh, uh, federal government, okay, power sharing, political parties, okay, and the role of political parties like that, various things we discussed. Okay, everything is connected with the democracy only. Clear? Clear? And we discussed almost all the positive aspects of democracy and at the same time the negative side of democracy also. Okay, and the last chapter basically dealing with the, the result of democracy. Okay, how can we separate democracy from other types of governments or what we are enjoying in a democratic country comparing with the non democratic ones? Clear? Okay, that's what the basic concept of this chapter outcomes of democracy, what we are basically enjoying. In a democratic country, okay, compare in comparison with the non democratic countries, non democratic countries, and the same time, the results that a democratic government can produce in a country, okay, various effects are there. That also, we want to uh, discuss in this typical chapter called outcomes of democracy. Okay, remember, this is the last uh, chapter, okay, for we people, okay, last chapter from a democratic democratical uh, politics. Okay, so you can see in the textbook here, there are numerous points are there related with uh, the outcomes of democracy, outcomes of uh, democracy that you can see in page number 90. Okay, 
So some basic things are there. The importance of uh, democracy. Okay. One by one. So read the first uh, point, Mr. Sri Rambagat. What are the first points? I just mark it here in the... Promotes question. equality among citizens. Yeah. Promotes equality among citizens. Citizens. Who is able to speak about this? Tell me, Eva George, what do you mean by this particular uh, sentence? Promotes equality among all the citizens. Tell me. What is that, Eva George? Equal rights. Equal rights. Anything else? So you were told about equal rights. Any other things are there? Quality means, sir. Quality? Uh, sir, sir said what is that equality? Equality, then. Equal. Sir, equal, uh, treat, equal treatment. Ah, equal equal treatment. treatment. Okay, fine. Then. Anything else? So promote equality in the sense we know that we would like to lead a life in an egalitarian society, which means the society where equality exists. Clear? We want equality, right or not? We want equal treatment. Okay. If some other individual is being treated better than us, definitely we will feel bad, right? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. So what we want, we want to lead a life in an egalitarian society where equality exists. Equality exists. Clear? Equal opportunity, equal rights, okay, respect, dignity, everything we want. Economic equality, social equality, political equality. Clear or not? Yes or no? Are you agreeing with me or not? So all we people want to lead a life uh, in a society where equality exists. Equality exists. Okay, so only democratical kind of governments can guarantee a society like that. Clear? In a non-democratical government, it is impossible to find what? Economic equality and the social equality and the social equality. But democracy ensuring and it is guaranteed, democratic kind of government guarantees what? Equality among the citizens. Okay, so it is giving more importance for, or it promotes equality among citizens. That is the first and foremost important aspect that connect with uh, democracy. It promotes equality among citizens, the first point. Okay, what the second point? What is the second point? Go you read that. Enhances the dignity of the individual. Enhances the dignity of the individual. Enhances the dignity of the individual. Then what do you mean by the term dignity? Can anyone tell me what is dignity? Dignity, what is that? Hmm? Dignity means we want to lead a respectful life in the society, right? Right or not? We want to get respect. Clear? And at the same time, we have to respect others also. Clear? Okay. If someone is humiliating us, someone is uh, doing something against our rights, equality, okay, clear or not? Discrimination that exists in the society, are we able to lead a good life in such society? Huh? There are discrimination existing. Okay. Clear or not? For example, we studied about apartheid, a racial discrimination, discrimination that existed in South Africa. Okay. And caste-based discrimination that existed in our country, India. Clear? Where society is divided. Society is uh, divided. Okay. The low caste people don't have the right to enter into the temples. Okay. Or they don't have the right to fetch water from the public well. Clear? They can't use the uh, public roads there, right? Like that various problems. So discrimination, there is no dignity. Okay, clear or not? So we can say democratical governments are always trying to improve the dignity of the individual. Okay, or making or creating situations for the people to lead what kind of life. Okay, 
to lead a dignified life in the society. Is that clear? Yes or no? Did I declare or not? Okay. So that's what dignified life in the society. Okay. So first, what we discussed? Discuss. What is the first point? It promotes equality. Okay. Clear? It promotes equality. Second one enhances dignity of the individual. Enhances the dignity of the individual. Okay. So too many cameras are off here. Please stay on the cameras. All of you. Please stay on the cameras. Okay. It enhances the dignity of the individual. Okay. Third point. Third point. Okay. So Raya, please read that the third point. Raya, are you there? Improves the quality of decision making. Okay. Third point. It improves the quality of decision making. Improves the quality of decision making. Okay. What do you mean by that? Uh, it will improve that uh, thinking, thinking of the uh, or, or decision for that how to quality of that improve the quality that all will discuss together to improve the quality improve the quality all will discuss together definitely okay. they will take, uh, tell me they, they will take decision about that uh, quality that thing make making okay. okay fine so decision making what is what, what do you mean the term decision making hmm? thinking about uh, Decision. So, it is a duty of the government to take decisions, right? Yes, sir. Create policies and programs for the country, right? Yes, yes or no? Okay. So, simply speaking, so in a democratic type of government, the government will not take the decision as they are wrong. Clear or not? Simply, they will not take such kind of decisions as they are wrong. They will discuss with the different political parties or different groups of people. Okay. Finally, only the government will take the decisions. Clear? Okay. They will not, a democratic uh, government will not take decisions as they are wrong. They will discuss with the different political parties or different groups of people in the society or in the country. Finally, only a democratic government will take a decision. Okay, clear or not? So that is the other important aspect that connected with the democracy. What is that? It is improves the quality of decision making. Okay, in a monarchy or a dictatorial government, they will take decisions within short time because they don't want to discuss with others clear or not they are all powerful they are the legislature they are the executive and they are the judiciary so easily they will take decision but one problem is there the decision that are taken by the monarch or the dictators may not accept by the people all the times clear or not but in connection with the democracy, we can say the decisions that are taken by a democratic government, in most of ca most cases, the people will accept it. Clear or not? Clear or not? Okay. In rare cases only we can find that people reject the decision that are taken by a democratic type of government. So quality of decision making is always good uh, in a democratic type of government. Okay. That is the third point for us. Okay. Clear? What is that? It is improving the quality of decision making. Quality of decision making. Okay. Sri so, Hari, next point. Provides a method to resolve conflicts. Provides a method to resolve conflicts. Okay. In this textbook, the first chapter, we studied about uh, different types of conflicts. Yes? Related with what? Power sharing. So, in any country, we are able to see different groups of people with different mentality, okay, different demands are there, okay. So, we are able to divide the society on the basis of language, 
okay on the basis of religion on the basis of culture on the basis of regions clear and always there will be chances for conflicts between the majority and the minorities the majority and the minorities clear various ah various such kind of instances or such kind of things we observed or we studied we read from the newspapers right okay so in the case of sri lanka there is a problem between two linguistic groups two religious groups two cultural groups right right but what happened there the government that became a failure the government failed to solve the problem in a democratic way okay so in a democracy how the government will solve the problem between two groups of people in a democratic way clear or not what is the democratic way without conflicts without violence so belgium it was an example for that right yes or no yes or no we studied that the first chapter itself belgium it was a clear example for solving the problem within the country in democratic way means by avoiding conflicts and the fights clear or not clear or not okay so that is the fourth point for us okay so in a democracy what is that it provides a method to resolve conflicts so everywhere in almost all the countries in almost all the societies we are able to find this diversities this differences okay huh? differences on the basis of language differences on the basis of religion okay like that various differences we are able to find okay but it is the responsibility of a democratic government uh, to solve these problems clear okay without any conflicts okay and the final point and the final point dominic of tense please read the final point last point dominic can you hear me dominic shawn allows room to correct mistakes it allows room to correct mistakes can anyone tell me what is the meaning of that last sentence atulya atulya vs tell me what is that what does that mean atulya in idea to correct mistakes ah huh. it allows rooms to correct mistakes means so what is room in this category in this uh... hmm. so don't think that it literally a room okay living room bedroom or drawing room or something like that is a room means what a space that is the meaning right clear it allows rooms to correct mistakes means democratic governance it always ready to correct mistakes okay there is a space to correct mistake right clear or not that's what there is a room to correct mistake there is a space to correct mistakes okay but in a dictatorial one or in a monarchical one okay they may not correct the mistakes that committed by the government clear or not they are not ready to do that okay but in a democratic government always the government uh, it is ready to correct the mistakes clear clear or not if any uh, mistakes committed any or erase committed it is the responsibility of the government to correct it okay clear or not so that feature is only for democracy clear only in democracy we are able to find uh, or we are able to understand this particular point what is that it allows rooms to correct mistakes hope these ideas are clear for you people right yes or no yes, yes or no tell me okay so one by one you can tell me now okay i will ask one uh, one by one we have to explain these points there okay so first point jerlin please, please explain the first point the cameras number of cameras or of i only told you to turn on the cameras please do that all the students please do that 
ഡിസ്ക്രിമിനേഷൻ enhances the dignity of the individual so the people will have a good identity mm. good identity in the sense um the people can lead what kind of life a respectful good life okay the people will have respect Oh. We know that each and every individual want respect. Okay, right or not? We are basically six respect there. Okay, so it is the responsibility of the government to creating chances, circumstances. Okay, to lead a dignified life. Okay, so a poor man may not enjoy his life in the society. Clear or not? He can't do that. Okay, a poor man. Okay. or a person uh, he's uh, backward socially backward or economically backward but such kind of people cannot enjoy their life in the society so it is the responsibility of the democratic government to create situations or circumstances uh, for such kind of people to develop themselves okay and they can lead a dignified life in society okay clear or not okay yeah correct ensuring a respectful life for the individual correct okay, the- if you okay. respect they they, uh, they will they will also give respect to them if no, you definitely have... so each and every one want to do the same clear or not if you want respect definitely we have to give the respect to our dates also okay next point anjali priya improves the quality of decision making it does not quality. take decision by itself but it also discuss with the other people to take the decision basically in a democratic kind of government the, the government definitely we know that the governments want to take some decisions there all right but ah uh, definitely after a discussion only a democratic government will take the decisions there clear or not so negotiations will be there deliberations will be there okay after the only the government will take decisions okay they will not take any decision as it's on the okay after discussion only the uh, democratic government will uh, take a decision okay next one next point alisha please read the next point after that the point after that allow songs to correct hmm what do you mean by that before that one point more one point is there right allow us to allow us to allow songs to correct the mistakes Uh, provides a method to resolve conflict yes okay provides room to sorry uh, provides a method to resolve conflicts okay sanya ji no please explain what is that the democratic government always allows to correct a mistake but monarchy cannot do that no 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 not that point the point just before that provides a method to resolve conflicts Hmm. Uh, they solve the conflict in a democratic way without fights and 
without conflicts okay so we know that it is very difficult to satisfy the demands of uh, each and every group of people in the society there right okay then also democratic governments are trying to do that okay they are trying to solve the problem between the social divisions or social groups uh, without any conflicts without any conflicts yeah. or uh, maximum they are trying to avoid conflicts avoid conflicts okay last point shiny assignment last point please read that shiny yes. last point hello sir to correct mistakes means hello government will not correct their the democracy will not uh, it will correct mistakes but uh, the uh, equatorial uh, government they will not correct the mistakes for the not equatorial dictatorial dictatorship dictatorship will not dictator will not correct mistakes okay so what do you mean by dictatorial governments dictatorship means what is that military like military ah oh, definitely okay so please the pronunciation is not dictatorial dictatorial dictatorship okay the mistake maybe right yeah. okay fine okay shani assignment sorry i was not there when you asked me last time okay fine so allow so, uh, rooms to correct mistakes means nothing but if any mistakes committed by the democratic government definitely they will correct it the government will correct it okay but a monarchy or a dictatorial one or a, a dictatorship they will not do the same okay they will not correct it okay that's why right. so these are the most important points that are related with the uh, democratic kind of governments there okay so you can see here how do we assess democracy's outcome what methods we are using to uh assess or calculate uh, the democracy's outcomes okay you can see here uh, do you remember our students in madam uh, link those class argued about democracy this was in chapter 2 of the class uh, in nan textbook it emerged from that conversation that democracy is a better form of government when compared with the dictatorship or, or any other alternative we felt the democracy was better because so democracy is a better form of government because of these reasons okay so write the question there write the question how democracy is considered as considered as a better form of government than the other types of governments considered as a better form of government than the other forms of governments okay so here you can see the points it promotes equality among the citizens enhances the dignity of the individual improves the quality of decision making provides a method to resolve conflicts and finally it allows rooms to correct mistakes okay because of these aspects okay this specialities you can say democracy is uh, comparatively better than any other forms of the government any other forms of the government hope this idea is clear for you people right so that means ah i have just write box here so that was the point that the answer okay so are these expectations realized under democracies when we talk to people around us most of them support democracy against other alternatives such as rule by a monarch or a military or a religious leader but not so many of them would be satisfied with the democracy in practice so we face a dilemma democracy is seen to be good in principle but felt to be not so good in practice this dilemma invites us to think hard about the outcomes of democracy so we prefer democracy only for moral reason or there are some potential reason to support democracy too okay so almost all the people in the world if you ask them they will say democracy is the best form of government okay clear or not at the same time we can say that theoretically okay theoretically democracy is considering as the best form of government because there are numerous good things are there in democracy comparing with other forms of government okay 
but are we able to receive all the good things from the democratic kind of government so there is a question exist what is that are we able to receive all the good things from the democratic type of government so answer is no answer is a no clear or not okay so we cannot say that we are enjoying the finest form of government okay or democracy is not the finest one comparatively is best clear or not and it is not the finest one clear yes or no so democratic kind of government is a type of government comparatively is it is better than or good comparing with others it is good okay only that but it is not the finest form of government so democracy also facing lots of problems lots of problems to understand these problems that what democracy facing first of all we want to understand the outcomes of democracy what we are a really enjoying in a democratic type of government that we want to understand clear clear this clear or not so in this chapter we are going to discuss these things uh, basically okay so please read that let me check that attendance okay <clears throat> 